Hey everybody and welcome back to Phoenix Point. Obviously we made some dire mistakes last time. We focused a little too much on on cover and relied on cover too much. Obviously not really getting back into the mindset of Phoenix Point and and really relying heavily on our experience with XCOM where where cover is great, but in Phoenix Point, of course, you can peek around cover and kind of use that to your advantage. We can use it to the our advantage, but of course the enemy can use it to their advantage of, as well. So before we really jump into this, I just want to check our people. You know, we've got ammo. Well, we need... He needs an ammo refill. Do we have such a thing? A magazine? Yep. You can have a magazine. You also need a magazine. You can have a magazine. You know what? We'll give you two. Because there's no reason why not to give you two. And Tron to Viking Krovel here comes with some equipment that we don't have access to because they have the new Jericho equipment. I wonder how that So they've got the bull pup or excuse me, bulldog AR50 assault rifle, damage 40, burst 4. Our Phoenix assault rifle is damage 30, burst 6. So effective range 20, effective range 25. So we need really need to get Troned up close because their effective range is much, uh, much lower. So a fifth lower or so. So we need to get them up close and personal and really blast them. Okay. Is there anything we can manufacture that we don't already have? I mean, we could try to manufacture a scarab, but it's gonna take five days. Do we really want to do that? Because we don't know. It's going to take a lot of our tech, and I don't know what our tech is good for yet. Um, no, I think we. I think we just move on. We're building a food production. Let's just research some more. We've already researched this, or explored this part. So let's just get to the closest over here and get time moving. What do we have? Research complete. Oh, we've completed Phoenix Archives. After recovering the base and analyzing the data banks that have been left functional, it is clear that Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. There may be other bases out there, but we will need to find them and bring them back online. There is no sign of Randolph Symes III, but he's left something potentially useful for us. New research is available. Oh. Randolph Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Okay. Was not expecting a little story there. Whatever happened to Dr. Symes? Randolph Symes III's notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family, used as a place of meditation and research. It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. Site added to Geoscape, the Symes Retreat. We should send our operatives to investigate. Okay, we have a new options, uh, new options for research. We can reverse engineer the Bulldog. I mean, I'm not... I mean, it is a... It seems to be a better weapon, perhaps, but we have to really get up close and personal to use it, and I don't know if that's our playstyle. Uh, we can research New Jericho. 
250 bonus uh, materials if we do that. Haven trade protocols. We can now trade resources with the Haven, so if we complete that. Uh, Ona Eric Delirium Index. We could develop the Ona Eric Delirium Index concept proposed by Randolph Simon III into a system for tracking the unusual mental phenomena caused by the Pandoran presence. We could uh, autopsy the Mind Fragger, or we could autopsy the Arthron. So, I don't know, let's let's research New Jericho. It was either between New Jericho and this Delirium Index, but since we seem to be becoming fast friends with New Jericho, let's go ahead and start that. I do want to research the autopsies, but they take a little longer, so I, I kind of want to bump out the low-hanging fruit easy ones first. Okay, let's get back to analyzing the site. This is the Symes. Okay, that's the Symes Retreat, so that's pretty close for us. Eliminate enemy forces to gain access. With us only only having only having three people, I'm not sure we want to we want to take that on just yet. And I see the the mist is expanding down here. At the Disciples of Anu Haven of Uruk, uh, we we've already kind of made them a little mad. Because we, uh, we destroyed those whatever mummies, cocoons, whatever those things were earlier. A mutated worm infestation has caused serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in Taxiarch Nurgle, the disciples' greatest military hero. But Nurgle is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating the good first impression a good first impression with this faction. Well, it wouldn't be the first impression because uh, we've already we've already interacted with them, sort of. But sure, we'll we'll take our people out and try to eliminate some mutated worms. We'll just have to take it slow and steady. Don't push too hard because we only got three people. manufacturing kind of industrial area we have a evac point but we don't want to evac we just want to kill all the enemies it's a familiar location because in the backer build there was a, a worm infestation kind of mission that was just like this so I could push out here and take this area but I kind of want to have our people kind of lumped together I mean, not too close because I don't know. I don't want any splash damage if splash damage occurs, but I don't want to get someone pushed out on their own and then have. And then them be like just out there and we can't rescue them if something bad happens. So let's push slow. Uh, cover isn't really important, I don't think, for worms, but Jack, get up there. Spotted something. What did you spot? A worm we can't... Okay, a worm over here. You spotted something too, huh? A worm on the building. Over there. But I can't shoot it. If we moved... I saw... Here. If we moved here, we would have a shot. We'd be far away from it. It's like we could move closer and get a better shot, but if we move just to here, that's the closest, you know, the least far we'd have to move and still get a shot. So, but unfortunately, that's with our bullpup person. It knows where we're at now. So, your range is not so great. But we can hope. We have a 
looks like about a 25% chance to hit, maybe. And that's all we needed. Okay. Great first move. Uh, let's set up an overwatch. If that worm comes over here, we'll get a shot at it. And let's set up an overwatch down this way. And with your last move, let's move you back closer to everybody. On the move. Oh, you spotted an enemy. That's unfortunate. Where did you spot them? No, don't end your turn yet. What did you spot? Okay, both over there. All right. They come closer. They come closer. Okay, that's not too bad. Can't get a shot at them, I think, because of this conveyor belt. It's kind of blocking our shot. We could push forward, but then... You know, they're kind of... They seem pretty much melee focused, so... Can I... No, don't... I just want to get the info. Accuracy 0, stealth 0, perception 15. Burst in a wave of fire. Dealing damage in 3 tile radius. Immune to all fire damage. So yeah, they, they really want to get close to us. And it seems like we all have... We just have 3 fire worms. Okay, so let's just move slow. Move out. Oh, we spotted an enemy. We didn't even get to move out. Okay, well... I'm fortunate that we have to use more than one... Enemy in visual oh, range. okay. Alright, well, never mind. We can dash. We don't really need to dash. Let's just play slow. Take out the worm. Okay. I'm going. Move forward. Move in. And we're just going to set up overwatch traps and wait for them to come to us. Uh, you can't overwatch, so let's just move you back. Let's do this. In fact, let's move you... No, we'll keep you there, I guess. That'll be fine. I'm afraid of this one coming in and blowing up and setting both of our people on fire, but even if I move... They moved here, and it was one... Two... Yeah, I, I... let's just not even try to min-max it that much. Overwatch, come close. I'm blasting you. And just end your turn. Okay, another fire worm, it looks like. Oh, you got onto the conveyor belt. You get a little closer. Okay, very lucky that they did not come. We were just one, one uh, tile away, huh? So let's move here so we don't block access. I'm not sure if our people can go through each other. I think they can't. Okay. Targeting. Blast you. I'm going. Enemy spotted. You don't have you're not great at shooting these tiny little things, but you know what? We can try. No, we didn't do that, but we knocked down the fence, so maybe we have a little more, a little more access. All right, let's just get right up in their face. Had me a little worried there that we missed a couple sprays, but that's all right. Enter. Moving closer. Oh, there's another one. Okay, this is getting a little, a little hairy. Alright, so 
We could grenade these two, potentially. That might be... This could be a good option. You two, I'm a little concerned about. We could just bash them, but I don't think we need to do that. Alright. Slow and steady. I got two. Alright. Can't see this one. We know this one's over here, but we can't get a shot at it. Could we... Oh, you don't have a uh, grenade, do you? You just have your... Yeah, you don't have a grenade. You do. Can you toss it without having a visual? Could. We would blow up some goodies or some some of these items over here. Well, actually, don't think we can get both because they're at separate levels, huh? We may not... Yeah, because they're at the different... Uh, different heights. It seems that the... The grenade's not a good option. That's too bad. Okay, grenade... Advancing. All right. Well, I thought you had a taking aim. That's stupid. It said we'd have a shot at two, but we didn't. That's a kill. All right. Let's just move back. Let them come in. We. Could have grenaded. At this point, we've already lost that option because we moved back without thinking. That's that's all right. In come the worms. Thankfully, they don't have that much movement speed. There's just a lot of them. Okay, not so bad. Bullpup, uh, excuse me, bulldog. Identifying target. All right, this is what I like to see. No mistakes. Slow and easy. Here we go. Like, you can only move them, like, the barest minimum. I'll keep my eyes open. These heavies, I don't really, really care for them too much. Alright, just let the worms come to us. Overwatching. Let's go. Come on, worm. Stick your head up. <laughs> well, we knocked out the thing that it was standing on, or squirming on, but we it didn't fall. That's interesting. Alright. Let's just take this thing out and hope it's the last one. Hostile down. Not the last one. Okay. Move. Overwatch. Out. Oh. Maybe you're the last one. Must have been it. Okay. Much better. Much better. No damage. And a couple level ups. All right. And now let's meet the Disciples of Anu. I think that's what they were called. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm gonna break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, 
but only the exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess, give us lives worth living. All right, well, I don't think we're going to side with you, but, you know, we'll be nice and we'd like to know more. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe, maybe, uh, Disciples of Anu is the way to go. Please enlighten us. If you want to work with us, you'll still have to deal with the hierarchy. Work your way up from the Apostle to the Once Born, to the Keeper of the Threshold, all the way up to the Synod of Yearning and the Exalted Herself. That's hard work. You'll have to earn the knowledge you gain. But trust me, it'll be worth it. And if the Synod gives you trouble, let me know. Okay, so we got a plus four, so we should be at plus one, because we had a minus three before, and we get 400 food, and we needed some food. So we know we can't... No, they don't have anybody we can uh, recruit from. So back. We can recruit from these two spots. I don't want to move there. I just want to see the Haven info. We could recruit Jason, Captain Hook, Hook. Another assault. We could recruit another heavy, Stephen Raven Talon Prince, Raven Talon. However you want to say that. I'm looking for a sniper though. So let's hope we can find a sniper to fill out our our ranks. So let's just keep keep moving, keep keep exploring. Scan complete. Scavenging site. Low threat. Daytime. Pandoran enemy. Okay. We did not level people up. Level up, level up, level up. Training. You have the option to return fire. Great. I'll take it. You have dash. Okay, sure. Haven't used it yet, but I'll take it. Somebody needed to give a... It was the... Uh... Oh, your stamina is not great, huh? Yeah, because we haven't let you let you rest. But we want to get rid of this magazine. Let's drop the magazine. Let's put a grenade in your pack. All right. Don't know what. Okay, I guess you can say don't send them on the mission. All right, let's deploy squad. Okay, accidentally put the wrong button. Let's deploy a squad. Let's hope this goes better than that new Jericho mission. But we seem to have okay odds with the aliens. The humans we're not so great at. Crates are a little spread out. It's unfortunate. I still don't know what this symbol is. But there's a, uh, a loot box here, basically. Let's get the cover. Getting the cover. And let's just go ahead and rush Tiny to the box here. What do we got? An Iconoclast magazine, Disciples of Anu shotgun. An Iron Iron Fury handgun, a New Jericho handgun. A Iron Fury handgun magazine, that is, not a handgun itself. And some more ammo. Ooh, so that would encumber you, huh? 
Oh, I didn't realize there's encumbrance. 20 of 16. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, that will just stay in that box then. I didn't realize we had an encumbrance stat. Well, we found one crab dude. And a mine fragger. Hate those guys. Like, almost no chance to hit him. They don't seem to know where we are, though. I wonder if we just don't set up some kind of ambush. Because the only person that has any good shot... I mean, is, they are heavy, and he really has no good shot. So... Why don't I set up... Yeah, I think we'll just set up an overwatch and let them just come forward. Holding position. No, oh, they spotted us. You're just gonna go melee the crate. That's alright. Another melee guy, it looks like. A third melee guy. Okay, that crate's just gone. All melee guys. Well, that was not what I wanted to happen. If I move here, I can't get a shot at him, huh? It's kind of weird. Well, that mind fragger. Joker's gotta go. Absolutely gotta go. How can I not hit him? Okay, okay. What to do, what to do. They're too far away. I can move... Bulldog... Excuse me, Viking... Out forward, but... The shield is there, so I won't be able to get a good shot on him. They would come close, come forward, and melee me. Uh, heavy, can you grenade? Can you grenade that far to get the? You cannot grenade that far. All right, all right. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We gotta make a decision. Right. Moving to coordinates. Push you forward. See if you can get a shot around that shield. You might get a shot at the arm. Maybe the leg. Let's go for the leg. We damage the pincher. I wish this was cover. It's really not, though. Though I don't know how much cover we need against melee enemies. This guy, how far can this guy, can we tell, can we tell their movement range? We cannot tell their movement range. We'll just have to learn that, I guess. Okay, so these guys up here are going to knock out that crate, but maybe... We can take some pot shots at him from this distance. Not much. If we moved here... Like, how... F I really want to grenade this Joker. But I don't think even if we move forward we could grenade him. So... I think we just might want to fall, rush this side, because these people are going to run. So if I can rush over here. Enemy spotted. What did you spot? What is that thing? How did you not spot that thing? It's huge. Okay. Um, Alright, end turn to see what happens. You rush 
Rush forward, not rush. You didn't rush where I thought you'd rush. Oh, because you're going for the crate. That's weird that you would go for the crate and not the people shooting at you. All right, now you'll come forward. Okay, okay, okay. Stop right there. All right, that was not what I wanted to happen. I did not think they could move that far and still attack. Okay, um, this is bad. This is like real bad. Because this person is now going to shoot at us. We could dash. And this is bad. Alright, um... I think we just have to... We're going to get blasted, for sure. I think we need to fall back. Heavy. Um... Can you jump jet to here, maybe? I mean, I'd really like to jump jet you where you can have a shot at uh, Viking here. So jump jet here and set you, set you up for a, sh a shot. You'll be behind half cover. And I can't dash that far. Move to a target position within half of the normal movement range. What good is dash? I don't understand if we are, our move range is halved. It's because it takes zero action points, maybe? It uses four will points. Okay, well, let's just try it. We'll try it. Okay, sorry. Dash here, and then if we can move here... We used our will points, okay. Heading out. And if we can move behind cover... That's really worthless. I hoped we'd have a shot at uh, Viking here, but I could overwatch against Viking, but I really want to get an aimed shot at their head, not just at their entire body, so let's overwatch down this corridor, maybe. I got this covered. Yeah, I hope you do. There goes some crates, I'm sure. Uh, they're going right for the crates. You're falling back. That's interesting. Oh, because you want to shoot the crates. Who are you medkitting? Were you medkitting the alien? That's weird. So much for the crates. All right, I uh, feel like we're really just getting completely bodied here. We, we ended up shooting the crate. That's lovely. Yeah, how is this only half cover? It's a freaking tree. Okay, we gotta push up, I think. Let's push up. Dashing. And... And our turn, I guess. We're not gonna get hard. We're gonna get hardly anything from this mission because they're just gonna destroy all of our crates. Oh 
we disabled their arm with a return fire. That's interesting. Okay, you're moving closer. Oh, you threw a grenade. Oh, crap. Okay, we blew up our own crate. That's cool. Oh, say goodbye to all the crates. Good thing we didn't eat crates. How can you not have a shot of this guy? Oh, because I'm on the wrong weapon. All right, let's come. Let's. We don't need cover. Let's just get right up in his face. Let's blast his arm right back off. Or the leg. The arm. Do we have any chance of just shooting the head? Oh, we do. Okay. Kill the mind fragger. Don't kill Viking. Yes. Yes. All right, Vikings kind of out out there, but it's all right. They're going to take a melee hit, I believe. No. No. Don't know what's going on with that big tower thing over in the distance. Okay. Okay. Viking, can you get behind his shield? Yeah, go for the arm. Instant kill. Eliminated. All right. Now this thing over here, I'm not sure what's up with you. The Mist Sentinel. It doesn't have any attack. We know we have an alien. One alien over here. They're just meleeing things. So I think it's okay to come out in the open because we haven't seen anything with a gun yet. So let's push let's up. Do this. Uh, you're a little injured because you took a grenade to the face. Acquiring target. And let's take a shot at this mist sentinel and see what happens. Gotcha. Oh, uh, it's preparing. Don't know what it's preparing for, but it's preparing something. Well, let's push. Push up and get more shots on it next turn. Then. Okay, it's spraying some mist. And you're just focusing on the crate. That's okay. Take out the food. I don't care. Not sure how a crate of food explodes, but you know. Moving. All right, Mr. Cannon Man. You have sucky accuracy, but you can at least hit something this big, right? You cannot. Ready to fire. Alright, so... You're out of ammo. Nuts. Switching. Moving now. That kind of sucks because we're not going to be able to kill this Miss Sentinel this turn. Nice. Oh, there's another crate over there. Do 
Did the Mist Sentinel do anything at all? I mean, it released that mist, but what does the mist do? Alright, Tiny. Move all you right. a hair, take a shot. Kill confirmed. Unfortunately, this guy's over here, behind a wall, so we can't see him. Heading out. But we'll set up an overwatch. If he kills that crate and then comes forward, we'll, we'll be ready for him. And we'll... Probably a bad idea to rush into an area we haven't seen, but we did anyways. There he is. Disabled his arm. And he deploys a shield. Oh, we can't see anything. Ready to fire. Still can't see anything. Alright, well. Shield is very uh, helpful, huh? Moving now. There we go. That's sort of a shot. If we can get some shot on the arm, we could kill it. There we are. Well, we didn't save very many crates. Three of nine <laughs> crates protected. Yeah, it wasn't very good, huh? Well, we killed all the enemies. We got injured, though. Because of that grenade shot from our mind-controlled ally. Explore area covered by the mist. All right, we got. Yeah, we got those things we found in the crates. That's all right. We still got a hundred uh, tech, one hundred materials, and one hundred food. We really can't explore the mist. We can't get that close. Let's head back and kind of heal up our person and let's let some people rest. Pass time a little bit. We should finish this research. New Jericho was a militaristic organization founded by Tobias West, the enigmatic billionaire founder of Vanadium Inc. Ideologically committed to West values of reason and meritocracy, New Jericho valorizes human will as the foundation of freedom and sees the Pandorans as a threat to the very core of human identity. West is said to have developed a long-term military strategy that will succeed where previous campaigns have failed. Some accuse him of having built a cult of personality around himself. New Jericho was one man's vision, and everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire, an elusive, controversial businessman who denounced war even as he profited from it. When the world fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting to preserve the core of human freedom, our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful of infection and obsessed with purity. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies. New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. Okay, some little, little more background on Tobias West there. What do we want to research now? So, ooh, that takes six days. The Pandoran Evolution.
We can learn a bit, little bit more about the Disciples of Anu for 200 food. Yeah, let's go for this Oneiric Delirium Index. Try to knock out these really low, you know, just 13 hour ones first. There's probably some, I'm sure someone has already come up with the ideal path for researching all these things, but since I don't know it and I kind of don't want to know it, we want to go across or learn at our own pace here. So, a little concerned about this mist, a little concerned about, less concerned about this mist, but still, we, we need to knock out this mist, we need to find a sniper, and we need to check out the the Symes retreat, but uh, Jack, I think it was Jack, has a little more healing to do. Okay. Now... Let's check on some things. We want to... Let's explore as close as we can to the mist before it gets taken over. <laughs> we could do an area scan, this whole area. What is that? Can't see what that costs. Um... Sure, why not? But we'll also explore. A soldier of Avalon. Emrys. Before World War III, John Smith seemed as ordinary as his name. Just another one of the millions of soldiers sent to fight and die for governments who saw themselves as nothing but statistics. But in the war, he showed that he had a unique aptitude for strategy. He acted fast and achieved decisive victories before the enemy had even figured out what was happening. His troops gave him the nickname Merlin because he moved like a wizard. Then came the implants, the thought transfer experiments, and soon enough a legend was born. When the old nation states tore themselves apart, Merlin decided that his first loyalty was to his team. He ignored his orders and founded the haven known, now known as Avalon. There are people who think I'm an actual wizard, he laughs, speaking to our operatives. I don't discourage it. It's a strange world we find ourselves in, my friends, and I need every resource I can get. And I'm sure you remember that old Arthur C. Clarke quote that sufficiently advanced techno about sufficiently advanced technology. But even Merlin himself can't solve every problem. The technology that was used to create my implants is experimental, to say the least. The process wasn't entirely voluntary, but there's still a lot... I don't know about what my government did to me. I have the coordinates of a lab that might provide answers. Can you help me secure it? Okay, sure, I'll accept. I don't have any reason not to. <laughs> Excellent, this matches all my information about the Phoenix Project. My people will send you all the information we have immediately. Good luck and thank you. Site added the Hand of Merlin. Um, where, oh, up here, way up here. independent haven with a lot of people but no one we can research or no one we can recruit from all right well let's keep moving research complete. an oneiric delirium index odi algorithm has been developed this will allow us to track keep track of our of the strength of the unknown mental phenomenon caused by the pandoran presence which appears to be increasing in severity as they expand their grip on the world. As the ODI increases, more humans will experience nightmares, hallucinations, detachment from reality, and eventually brain seizures and death. We cannot estimate, or excuse me, we have estimated a tipping point for ODI beyond which the human race cannot be saved. So I guess this is kind of like the timeline. We have to beat the game before the ODI index hits that, that tipping point. Delirium monitoring system is available. The ODI meter displays the current intensity of oneiric delirium at 100% humanity cannot be saved. And we're at 0%, thankfully. One of the last things Dr. Randolph Symes III worked on before leaving the Phoenix Point was the oneiric delirium index. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. 
an attempt to quantify the unexplained mental influence of the Pandorans, he feared the frequent reports of strange nightmares and hallucinations might be attributable to something more than psychological trauma, perhaps some form of telepathic attack. Under different circumstances, the idea might have seemed fanciful, but even Phoenix Project operatives have reported similar phenomenon. Uh, phenomena. We should complete his research. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and knock out trade protocols and then probably we'll go to Disciples of Anu. No, what did we find? Something in the mist. <laughs> the junkyard. The Manticore 1 has landed outside an abandoned junkyard. There are hundreds of rusting vehicles and automotive parts here. Hopefully we can find something useful. Other scavengers have been here before, but there are still some parts we can use. 50 tech, 170 materials. Alright. Do we dare check in the mist? Let's check. Uh, threat level medium. No, we don't need crates. Cancel. Research complete. We cannot trade resources with havens. Okay, we have established a series of diplomatic protocols for trading with havens. While many settlements may have needs that we could meet, the sad truth is that in today's atmosphere of fear and uh, paranoia, we will have to establish good relations with the havens' leadership and show that we are not potential swindlers or raiders before they consider engaging in trade with us. Okay, so um, is there information we can have? I don't see anything about trading. Santa Claus is dead. The Manticore 1 has landed near an abandoned convoy of six trucks. Our operatives have searched the cargo containers and discovered they were all carrying toys and games for children. Uh, disassemble for parts or distribute to havens. Now let's distribute the toys. Santa Claus is dead, but we're the new Santa Claus in town. Grow growing up in this broken world can't be easy. It is our duty to do what we can to make life easier for our children. New Jericho plus three, Disciples of Anu plus three, Synedrion plus three. Okay. What do we have? Fort Call Kaula. Sure, okay. Um, do you have a sniper? I do not want to raid you. No, I can trade with you. Let's keep moving, keep exploring. This mist is really pushing out hard. You've located a Phoenix base and brought it back online. Nice. But no soldiers. We can repair the vehicle bay, repair the stores, repair the living quarters. Yeah, let's just get back to let's repair. Repair the facility. Oh yeah, that's cheap. Did we not choose a research? Okay, I guess we hadn't choose. We. Messed up and didn't choose the research last time, so Cyprus Vanu it is. And so we don't do that again. Let's queue up reverse, or let's autopsy the Arthron. Maybe we can get some information about armor or something from that. Keep researching down here towards the south. Construction complete. All right. Okay, we got a scavenging site. I'm not going to start it. We're going to start that next episode because it's gone a little long. But I think we've made a little more progress this time. You know, we haven't we haven't killed two people. We're still looking for that sniper. We might just need to ignore looking for a sniper and go back up and 
get one of these uh, assaults for now. We found a new uh, a new Phoenix base, but we have this encroachment of mist that we really need to figure out what to do with. It's it's, it's approaching this haven, and we have this mist up here too. And we really should, probably should be pushing north because we have these places that's uh, you know our objectives to go see the Symes retreat and find uh, more Phoenix bases and do this Hand of Merlin. So as soon as we get down here towards the tip of South America, well probably once we do this this uh, mission here next episode, we'll probably push back towards the north and try to get those taken out. But it's a, it's a long-winded way of saying uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me, and hope to see you again next time.